Hey, good morning. It's uh, Suzanne here, and I'm just um, coming in from my new location with a message. Um, I want I wrote it down because it was a little bit different. I asked Jesus this morning, hey, what have you got for me that I can share? Because I want to get back on my uh, bandwagon here and start sharing messages again. And there's been a lot going on in my life over the last several months um, with moving and uh, being evicted and you know, evicted nicely because somebody purchased the home we were living in. Um, but just the stresses and everything that went on with that and all of the the culmination of energies that take place when you're going through something like that. So I asked him, you know, what can I um, what can I talk about today? Because I want to share a message. And he said to me, um, and I'm just going to start reading here because it all came filtered in and I didn't want to I didn't want to lose the messages because they're important and I think they can apply like to many people. OK, so I'm just reading off my sheet here. So he says, talk about your own personal revival. And then that kind of made me think about, you know, I've been hearing so many pe people talking about mass revivals around the world of people coming back to God. But he said specifically, talk about your own revival because it will um, it will. It uh, will resonate with many people i guess that's that's the word right resonate so a lot of you are going to probably be able to um, resonate with what i'm going to say so then he said to me luke chapter 22 and he wanted me to read it and he wanted me to think on it and he told me do not rush my message and take um take time <clears throat> sorry take time with it today so I said, OK, I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to read and I'm going to take my time and do my thing. Right. And then he comes out of nowhere and said, um, life is not about things. Life is about authentic acceptance. And this is what he said to me. Then all of this stuff came flooding in. OK, so in Luke 22, it talks about the days leading up to Jesus's crucifixion and how some of his disciples turned on him behind his back, even though he could see this would happen and was aware that we were being um, that they were being one way to his face and they were being another way um, behind his back. OK, um, this verse can be applied to so many people, he said, and I encourage you to really sit down and read the chapter, not just me, but you guys, too. OK, um, so uh, where did it go? Uh, because Jesus had to hit a very low point. OK, um, and die in his flesh to to rise to the highest vibration of who he is. Similarly, this is him coming in from him. He feels people also come to a place of death in the flesh or a very low point to hit rock bottom so they can rise again. OK, um, so Jesus has brought this verse to me many times on my healing journey after stepping in to help others and teaching with teaching and healing work. Um, but this time he wanted me to really think on it, asking me to think on my own revival. Just one second. OK, sorry. So he was wanting me to think on my own revival, which like with the truth of that, um, I've become much closer to God over the last several months. OK, having to let go of control of my own heart's desires and allowing him to step in and watch his work unfold to bring me um, to the highest level where he wants me to be, which is the best for me. OK, um, he has shown me the truth of many things uh, with this move, including my own heart and the heart of others. OK, so he's really showed me a lot. And when you get to the point where you trust that you're getting that connection with God, um, things just start to roll out all over the place, you know, in all areas, synchronicities line up and um, everything is in divine timing. And it's amazing how you will see that unfold. OK, when you get to that level of trusting God. OK, so. Um, OK, so with this move, OK, over and over the last few weeks, it's shown me the truth. This is the big lesson for me. It's shown me the truth of those who have been in my life a long time and short term. OK, it's shown me that I should really trust my own instincts. Never doubt your instincts and the messages God's giving you. OK, um, with people that I know, so family, friends and otherwise, you know, on social media, on, you know, different things, everybody that I know. Because 
those who, this is the lesson, those who truly value you as a person, okay, um, without needing to gain anything from you. So sucking your energy, taking advantage of your home or, or, or like coming in with a false, a false, um, coming to you with a false message, I want to say, but pretending to be one way like Jesus disciples to one way in their, in their face, but behind your back, they're did, 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 or they're like talking and chatting and, and not being truthful about the relationship they have with you okay or whatever like the disciples had with jesus right um so trusting my own instincts uh i keep losing my spot here sorry so those who truly value you as a person won't need anything from you nothing okay and those who have been authentic with me personally in the past are still in my life right? They're still in my life. Um, without question, they're ready to step in and help. They're ready to travel to my location. Traveling to my location is diff it, like for me to travel back to where I came from. And my whole family's there is, is something that I really need to plan. Like, because I can't, because of my left eye, which I've talked to you guys about a lot. Um, it has to be the perfect overhead weather conditions for me to drive without flares coming in and distorting my vision so my husband has to do most of the driving for us pretty much all of it and he has ms so those two things together are challenging for us right so um you know authenticity in others that are in your life is so important and very transparent if it doesn't like if you can see through, I tried to explain this to um, my husband the other day because we kind of bicker a lot <laughs> because I see ahead. So I see the mo in the moment and I see what the result's going to be. And it's always that way. So this is like it's a it's a blessing in a way for me, but it's also a curse because it causes me to like, you know, kind of control things because I know where it's headed. And I'm trying to solve the problem before, you know, so this causes problems for us. Um, but I don't know how I got onto that. Uh, anyway, I'm just saying that when you have the ability to see into the heart of another person, see into their energetic field, read what's around them, see what's controlling them, even if you don't see the exact um issue of what it is that's controlling or the thing that's controlling them you know if you're an intuitive a true intuitive you can see um the darker forces that push them and dark forces can push you to to make it look like you're being more light more heartfelt and you're really not you know like there's a two-sided uh scenario to that so just you know um watch for that trust your intuition OK, um, anyway, so some people have dropped away without any surprise to me, zero surprise to me. OK, and that's OK, because that's what happens when God has stepped in to remove the lower frequencies from your life. Right. Um, and because he wants to raise you up. And if you're hanging on to that low vibration, it's not going to it's going to be harder to be lifted. But I can see he took us from here to like above my screen in frequency in the location we're at i'm excited for what's coming i'm excited for those who have reconnected with me who have always been there always been there over the years i'm going back 10 12 years okay um who have reconnected with me uh and been excited for what's going to be happening and, and how we're, we've made our move but and this is personal stuff but it, it ties into the message the big lesson for me was luke 22 because it's the same scenario. And I've had Jesus flat out say to me, Suzanne, even my own disciples stabbed me in the back. He said that to me when I was being bashed on YouTube for my videos, right? And that was like five, six years ago. So I'm going to run out of time here. It's coming up to 10 minutes. So I just wanted to share that. I'm sorry if I like am breaking up and, and searching for words, but I really wanted to make sure I hit every point. And um, I hope it resonates with you, you know, um, share it with your friends if you want. You don't have to. I feel and trust God takes my messages where they're meant to go. So I hope you all have a great day and I will be back.